um, hi brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I felt the need to make this video um, so some of you can better understand the pain God is going through right now. Um, so basically, um, the couple of days ago, I was in class and the professor was t the professor was talking about religious freedom in America. And, and this professor, um, he's a he's a Roman Catholic and he openly professes his faith. And he said it a couple of times that he goes to church every Sunday. So he was talking about uh, religious freedom in America, and then he asked one of the students, who was a girl, by the way, he asked her, "Oh, do you do you believe in God?" and and she said no, but she didn't say no and just like no. She said it in like she said it in like this sinister kind of way, if you know what I mean. And then the professor went and then said, oh, "Okay, that's completely fine." And after him saying that, that like that broke my heart. I'm like. You being a Roman Catholic know what's gonna happen to what's gonna happen to her in the afterlife. She's gonna be in the lake of fire if she doesn't get saved, and you're gonna look it in the face and say that's completely fine. And after um, he said that, um, I mean that that just broke my heart. I was like, I was like, I can't believe this just happened. And I understand that the girl she said she doesn't believe in God. She's living in a free country, but I feel like the professor shouldn't have said that oh that's completely fine and then i started thinking i'm like okay i'm just one person um sitting in this room seeing this right but god is not limited to the things i'm limited to, to right god is omnipresent so he can see everything at the same time so so god saw what i saw in that classroom plus he saw the he saw a billion if not a trillion of other things that broke his heart like blasphemy sin crime hatred all the wickedness of mankind, he saw what I saw of that of that woman saying, "No, I don't believe in God," and he saw a billion other things. So, imagine, I felt pain just by that one person saying no, and the professor saying, "Oh, that's completely fine." Imagine the pain God feels right now. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be surprised if God cried all the time, just sitting in his throne crying, realizing what mankind has turned to. So if you think the pain you're feeling is bad, imagine the pain Father God and Jesus Christ feel. It's probably a billion, if not a trillion times worse than yours. So imagine how would you feel if your creation turned against you. This is why when people say, why must the rapture happen? Why must the tribulation happen? These things must happen because mankind has turned so wicked. So and also, we Christians have to do everything we can to take away from God's pain. Even if the 100 pound dumbbells God is carrying, even if we can lighten that to a 99 pounds, it's going to be worth our time. So this is what I wanted to talk about to some of you who don't have a perspective on the pain God feels. Maybe this gave you a better understanding. So in the description box of this very video, I, read, I wrote a message. Please pass that along, whether you're going to email it, print it out, post it across your city, text it, anything you can. I'm pretty sure God will appreciate it of you warning his people of the upcoming events and lighten as much as you can lighten the burden God is carrying. He loves you and he'll appreciate it and he'll reward you. So thanks for listening. This is what I wanted to talk about. All glory to God because all glory belongs to him.